Good Monday morning, everyone. I hope this is finding you well and living your very best life in Jesus Christ. Well, as we begin what is commonly referred to as Passion Week, meaning the week before Easter, I can't help but take a moment to observe at all the changes in the scripture during that short period of time, both in Jesus' life and the disciples, as well as pretty much everyone else. In yesterday's sermon, I spoke about how things in our life change when Jesus comes to town. I talked about how back then, many folks really hadn't given Jesus all that much thought, and they certainly didn't realize that everything was about to change. And that when Jesus rode into Jerusalem, it was really necessary for those folks standing along the road, as Jesus rode by on a colt, to decide for themselves just what they were going to do with this newly declared Messiah. Were they going to get caught up in the moment as just another event, something to be celebrated and quickly forgotten, throw down some palm leaves since they were caught up in the spirit of the event, and then leave, move on? untouched? Were they going to stand back and scoff since Jesus didn't fit with their preconceived notion of what the Messiah was supposed to look like? Were were they content to try to wait until someone that met their criteria that they thought they might like um, came along? Were they going to follow Jesus just as long as it was convenient, as long as it was in their own best interest to do so, as long as it didn't really cost him anything? Or were they willing to see Jesus as he was, the Son of God, sent to take on the sins of the world and set us on the path to reconciliation with God the Father? I mean, let's face it, if we're honest with ourselves, we can see ourselves fitting into each one of those first three crowds, can't we? We tend to be selfish little creatures, unwilling to change, self-centered, unduly proud, and displaying a kind of a it's-all-about-me kind of attitude. I mean, we don't really want to see ourselves as we truly are. I mean, Isaiah pretty much nailed it when he said, All of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf, and like the wind our sins sweep us away. By the way, that's Isaiah 64.6. And you see, because of that, intentional blindness caused by our sin and our self-interest and our arrogance, we often refuse to see Jesus as he truly is. What is he? Well, he's our only hope for having a fulfilling, purposeful life, both for now and in all eternity. So as we start this week leading up to Easter, I hope we all take a moment to think about which of these three groups or four groups actually you really want to be in. And just be honest, evaluate and see which one you're in now. (laughs) Because when Jesus came to town all those years ago, it was intended to force people to make a choice. And just as he did back then, it's necessary for us to make a choice today and every day until he comes back to town for us. You see, when he comes back, there can't be any fence sitters. There's not going to be any changing teams. We're either a true believer, washed in his blood, changed by his presence, ready to live and die for him, and prepared for his return, (laughs) or we're just as sturdy and sinful and lost as we ever were. There, There can't be any middle ground. I'm sorry. You're either with the crowd ready to shout, Hosanna, or the crowd ready to shout, crucify him. It's the way it is. Matthew 12, 30 reminds us, whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. So, on this bright Monday, let us use this time to examine our lives. Are we really on the side we want to be on? The right side. Ready to sacrifice everything for the one who sacrificed everything for us. Or are we a spectator, or one who is a Christian when it's convenient? Or maybe waiting for someone to fit into what we think a Savior and Lord should be? I don't know about you, but I know which group I want to be in. I'm going to do my very best to make sure I'm there, shouting hosannas. So, this morning, as it starts this week, let's ask you a question. Which group do you want to be in?
And as I said yesterday, I suggest everyone choose wisely before Jesus comes back to town. I hope you make today a fantastic day. I want you to know that I'm here should you need me. And I truly love you all.